Having watched as much Total Wipeout as I have, you'd think I'd know everything there is to know about Dizzy Dummies. But you'd think wrong. But not knowing anything about something has never stopped me in the past, so here's my report on the do's and don'ts of how to tackle Dizzy Dummies. I am on the actual Total Wipeout course. In the actual Dizzy Dummy that spins actual competitors round, around, around until they're actually sick or fall in that actual water over there. None of those things are going to happen to me, though. Two reasons, perfect balance and coordination, and I have a note from my mum explaining that I'm not allowed to do the Dizzy Dummies, and I've had it translated into Argentinian, just in case. So these are my do's and don'ts for success on the Dizzy Dummies. Don't have a big breakfast. Do give your opponents the respect they deserve. Come on, it's sudden death! Don't book an appointment for straight after the Dizzy Dummies is finished that requires you to be dry. Do concentrate all the way to the finish. Don't do what Michael did. It's just so hard, it's so slippery and I'm so dizzy. Uh, give it my all, but I'm just sorry. So, those are my do's and don'ts for success on the Dizzy Dummies. Thanks, Mum. So, will our remaining contestants take the blindest bit of notice? Well, we're about to find 